In this video, I'll be covering how to make your renders look more like film. If you haven't watched my first compositing video, I recommend that you go check that out because I'll reference some of those techniques in this video. The basic idea is to simply composite film grain over the top of your render. Now you might think that adding grain to your render is counterintuitive considering that you've spent so much time reducing noise from your renders. But trust me, real film grain looks very different than low sample render grain. The first step is to acquire a clip of real film grain. There are a number of free options available on the internet, but I find myself using this clip from holygrain.com. I'll put a link to that in the description. Now let's go to the compositor. I want to mention this node group here just contains denoising and color correction nodes. To learn more about that, check out my previous compositing video. To import the film grain clip into Blender, add an image node and open the film grain video file. Set the frames number to the number of frames in your grain clip, in this case 119, and check the cyclic box. Add a scale node and set it to render size and crop. Then add a mix color node and connect the scaled film grain into the bottom input and set the mix node to overlay. Most likely, the grain will darken or lighten the scene, so you'll probably have to adjust the luminance of the grain clip to maintain brightness. To do this, add an RGB curves node between the scale and overlay and bring up the midtones by dragging the midpoint towards the upper left corner. To adjust the intensity of the grain, just modify the factor value of the mix node. Depending on the look you're going for, you may want to add a little bit of film shake. To do this, add a transform node and a scale node between the image output and the overlay mix node. In the transform node, first set the mode to by cubic. Then position the mouse over the X coordinate and press I. This will insert a keyframe. Now do the same with the Y value. Now drag a new window and set it to the graph editor. Then select your transform node, and you'll see the X and Y keyframe values on the graph. Now press N to reveal additional options, and click on the Modifier tab. In the left pane, select the X axis, then click Add Modifier, and select Noise. The exact amount of noise is up to you, and may depend on the render resolution. I upped the scale to 2 for the X axis. Now do the same for the Y axis. But this time, change the phase to some other value so it doesn't align perfectly with the x-axis noise. Now, because your render is moving around, there will be small black bars creeping into the edge, so you need to scale up your image just a little to prevent this. For this scene, a value of 1.02 worked for me. That's it for this quick technique. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and check out my channel for more Blender tutorials.